Welcome to Leslie Manning Creatures of North America. I'm Brian Dowling. On today's show, we track the inscrutable Minnesotan. You've heard of him, but have you ever encountered the little bugger in the wild? You will find the Minnesotan at The Cabin, which is located on The Lake, which you'll find a couple hours from The Cities. Most tend to congregate in this general region of North America, with its natural abundance of wild rice, walleye, and jello salad. Minnesotans are not a nomadic species. The typical Minnesotan is born and dies within a five mile radius. Even when given the opportunity, they prefer to stay close to home. They mark their territory with a complex system of trolls and gnomes. In the colder winter months, there is some migratory behavior, whilst others hibernate, binge watching Netflix, and living off the fat gained from the previous state fair. Some Minnesotans do venture outside in the cruel and dangerous winter to prevent what is known as cabin fever, as we see here. Anthropologists theorize this cabin fever is made worse by the tiny size of their winter dwellings barely larger than an outhouse. This is a typical two-seater, though the holes are strangely on the floor rather than in the seats themselves, which suggests some skill must be involved. Their main natural predator is never far away, and Minnesotans have no effective defense against it. There are other predators every bit as dangerous. Over time, Minnesotans have developed advanced survival tactics, as we can see here, although even these are powerless against the dreaded biting fly. Among some species, looking another directly in the eyes is a threatening act. It can challenge the social hierarchy. This is why the Minnesotan avoids eye contact. It's a survival instinct to avoid confrontation. In many species, an alpha male makes decisions for the rest of the group. Among the Minnesotan breed, however, nobody is any more alpha than anybody else. Decision-making is an activity all members participate equally in avoiding. The basic dominance hierarchy of the Minnesotan is unique in the animal kingdom, as all Minnesotans are equally deferential. Surprisingly little can be known for certain about the Minnesotan. They appear quite friendly on the outside. But on the inside, they are wary of the intruders and keep to themselves, so that it is difficult, even at close range, to learn their secrets. Minnesotans are excellent hunters. They divide any fresh kills within the clan, often through an ingenious system of non-profit raffle tickets. Sharing food comes with strange rituals. They never accept food without refusing three times, and no one ever eats the last piece. This is left by apps as a sacrifice to their pagan food god. So if it makes any sense. Perhaps you're asking yourself, even then, could I be a closet Minnesotan? This book will tell you all you need to know. I'm Brian Dowling for lesser known creatures of North America.